got involved in this because I was a snorer and my wife was uh, uh, not too happy with uh, who she was living next to. And so I went to a dental meeting. Long story short, I was given a watch pad in Scottsdale, Arizona. And uh, it was revealed to me in front of about 100 people that I had sleep apnea, the likelihood thereof. And I went on for a PSG, got on a, got on a CPAP, and uh, struggled a little bit. And now I'm on a combination of CPAP and mouthpiece. I've lost 65 pounds in the last year and a half. And my blood pressure has come down 60, 16 points. So am I a proponent of uh, combined therapy and airway management? You bet. And I think I'm a better uh, clinician because of it. I use, it, um, I use it all day long almost, and the way I integrate it since I understand better the role I can play is with our, with our general dental patients, which is half my practice, when we, sh we, when we have people who show signs of clenching their teeth, gum recession, things called abfractions where they're popping out enamel at the gum line, my hygienists know in a minute they should ask, do you snore? And, uh, and then they'll call me in, and then I'll ask questions like, how's your blood pressure? We're taking it anyway. When we pick up little signs and symptoms that they might have some sleep disorder breathing, I explain that to them and we offer them a, the watch pad as a screening tool to see if we might have to make a referral to a sleep position to rule out sleep disorder breathing. And often the level of suspicion is raised high enough after they bring that back and we show them results. And our first inclination is to refer them to a sleep specialist, which we arrange for right then and there. And the other side of my dental practice, uh, treating patients with uh, headaches and jaw pain or CPAP intolerant. We use it to titrate or adjust the oral appliances as to as near perfection as possible while stabilizing the airway before they return for their follow-up PSG again. We, we follow the guidelines uh, set forth by Academy of uh, Sleep Medicine that all patients sent to us with dental sleep medicine problems are returned for follow-up PSGs. When we, when, we off, when, we, when we place an appliance, we want to get them as close to the finished position as possible because often with doing it all in the sleep lab, they end up with a very sore, painful jaw that sometimes can be there for weeks. So we will probably provide them with the watch pad two or three times as we titrate and adjust their mouthpiece over a period of weeks prior to returning them back to the sleep position. We use that as a screening tool on a regular basis, particularly in my headache uh, practice. We, we, half my practice is a TMD oral facial pain, and we use that um, as part of our intake evaluation. People who report bruxing, clenching, uh, headaches upon awakening all receive a watch pad uh, as part of our intake data.